as everyone knows, the government just extend all kind of visas which expired after 1st of March. So uh, they are valid till 21st of December 2020. The people who are uh, like overstay before the 1st of March, they are all under this amnesty mm -hmm. and they can leave the country without any procedure. Okay. Just this is this is just to make it clear. Okay. So if you are traveling, just only you can book a ticket okay. and go to the airport. And I think there is a deadline. I think there is a three months deadline. Yes, it's okay. three months starting from uh, first of uh, March. Okay. Till first of August. Um, okay. Another question that some people have, like you said, they have uh, the fines have been waived. Yes. Some people uh, have a slight confusion whether that should be applied or declared somewhere or is that an automatic no. procedure? automatic to travel okay. it's not to change status mm. it's to travel so the amnesty is only to travel the country there is no but, extension on it okay so most probably after uh, opening the airports uh, there is a period will be there okay. and people should leave before that Today we have an exclusive interview, interview with uh, inside the General Directorate of Residency and Foreign Affairs in Dubai. So with me uh, today, uh, Major Salim bin Ali. He is uh, dire uh, Director of Amr Client Happiness uh, Center at GDRFA Dubai. And he will be more than welcome to answer all your inquiries, all your questions related to the visa issues. One of, one of the major uh, questions that it's always we receive, and I think you guys also have been receiving. Mm. Uh, it's for the people who their residency or visa were expired after March 2020. Okay. The government said that it will be extended till the end of the year. Auto extend. Yeah. Yes. So can you just like clarify this uh, issue to the very people? very good question, Mr. Ali. Uh, the thing is, um, as everyone knows, the government just extend all kind of visas which expired after 1st of March. So uh, they are valid till 21st of December 2020. Uh, the question is, the important question is, if I need to renew my residence, mm -hmm. can I do it? Yes, you can. Okay. You can do, just you can apply for a renewal, uh, I mean, form. Yes. And uh, it's without, for the renewal, it's without medical. So there will be no medical, no medical. for renewal? Yeah. Yes. These days. Just okay. only you will pay the fees of the ID, MRS ID, and the normal uh, renewal okay. fee. Okay. But if people who are traveling for <laughs> any reason, okay, they, they want to leave the country, and they will say that I'm talking about now Dubai airports will get back soon. Yes. Okay. So I'm traveling and I'm getting back. Systemically, your visa is renewed. Mm -hmm. But I cannot make sure that when you are coming back, the airline will allow you to travel because the residence, is, which is a stick on your passport, passport. it's expired. Okay. So if you are planning to travel, the advice is to renew the visa. If you are in the country, you don't have to do it. Okay, so yeah. it's better to renew it. But if you like, it's fine. You can so, renew it. So for residents who are inside the country and their visa expired, it's automatically renewed to the, to yes, the end of all the of them. Is there any way that they can check about this? Yes, they can call the call center, but usually it is uh, okay. renewed, 100%. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what about the family sponsored uh, resident visa? Uh, those were issued in March and then canceled before their entry. Um, again, it's a very good question. Yes. So if the people who are traveling there is no any fines on it. Mm -hmm. But let us say the person will have a new visa to apply, okay, or a new company to go to. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, they will not pay any fine for that. Okay. Till, I mean, till, till the date, I mean, till today, I'm talking about if there is any order, of course, you people will mention that or you'll announce it. But till the day, there is no any fine on it. No fine. Mm -hmm. Many people also being confused between the, the extension of uh, permits uh, between residency and visitors. So many people 
let's say the visitors or the people who came on tourist visa to the UAE and uh, their visas expired after 1st of March. It's extended till the end of the year. So it's also it's extended. The same, it's the same, both. Okay, yeah. because it's people talking, what, what if I'm a resident? Mm. So if you're a resident, your visa extended. If you're a tourist or came on visit visa, and your visa expired after March 1st, it's also automatically extended until end of the year, right? Yes. Okay, uh, recently there have been an order by the UAE government to waive all uh, the fines yes. on people who are staying illegally in the country before March 1st. Can you just like highlight this point? Um, as, as announced, I mean, uh, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa, uh, just uh, the people who are uh, like overstay before the 1st of March, they are all under this amnesty mm -hmm. and they can leave the country without any procedure. Okay. Just, this is, this is just to make it clear. Okay. So if you are traveling, just only you can book a ticket okay. and go to the airport. And I think there is a deadline. I think there is a three months deadline. Yes, it's okay. three months starting from uh, 1st of uh, March okay. till 1st of August. Okay. Uh, uh, how about my visa will be finished on October? Is it will be automatic renewal or I need to renew it? So it's similar question. Next October? Uh, finish. Yeah, expire on October. This October. So uh, if it's finished on October, it will be extended this October. This October? 2020. Yes. yes. So it will be extended till? Yes. Uh, end of the year? As, as of today. Just we have to make sure. Uh, as of today. Yeah. Okay. Any visa will be expired after first of March, yes, it's extended till the end of the year. Okay, what about, uh, the, uh, let's say, we, we know there is a list of countries that they can get visa on arrival, yes. just like a British passport holder. Okay. So he still can have this if they come to the UAE? Yes. To get the if visa on is, arrival? If, if the airports are open, mm. and uh, I mean, the normal passengers uh, are, I mean, allowed to come to mm -hmm. the country. Yeah. So the rule will be the same. So exactly. It's the, yeah. So it's the same. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we have uh, more questions. Another one is people are asking if the issuance of new visas has started or when is it predicted to start? Do you have any information on that? Not yet. Not yet. But inside country visas are okay and they can, I mean, uh, they can apply whenever they want inside country visas. So it's changing jobs or they are on a visa, on a visit visa and they want to change them to the residence, so they can do it. So even if you have, uh, let's say, uh, sorry for the interruption, so even if uh, there is a resident in Abu Dhabi and he found a job in yes, Dubai, yes, yes, yes. so he can apply. So it's no, different, no. between yes. different emirates? So no problem. Yeah. No. Um, another question that some people have, like you said, they have uh, the fines have been waived. Yes. Some people uh, have a slight confusion whether that should be applied or declared somewhere, or is that an automatic no. procedure? automatic to travel. It's not to change status, it's to travel. So the amnesty is only to travel the country. But if you need to change the status or you need you have a new job, you have to go to the normal procedure. Yeah. Uh, another person said that they actually got an employment freelance entry visa, which expired on 16th of April. Okay. But they weren't able to travel in, uh, to Dubai because of coronavirus. Uh, are they able to travel to Dubai right now after June 1st? After June 1st, it's with a permit. Okay. They have to apply through the portal. If they get the approval, they can. But if the visas expire, I mean, they have to get the, the permit and they have to apply for a visa. So they have to renew that visa. But it's an perm uh, entry permit or it's a residence visa? It's an entry visa, freelance entry visa. Is the, that yeah, so freelance entry visa depends. It's the entry permit or it's stuck in the passport. Mm -hmm. If it's in the passport, after 1st of March, it's renewed. Either they are inside the country or outside the country. So most probably they can, they can just get the permit. If it's approved, they can come to the country, no problem. Uh, one of the readers is saying uh, his uh, working visa will expire on September this year. Okay. So he's asking, uh, it will just be extended or need to renew by my company? It's just, it will be extended, as I said. Okay. It will be extended till the end of the year. 
But um, of course, I mean, if if uh, we have a different order, it will be announced. Okay. The, one of the, I think one of the issues that we've been receiving from our readers, it's about uh, people who cancel their visa after March 1st. Okay, we said that those people, I mean, till now, um, of course, the cancellation in the system, there is a fine, but let them apply, okay, for the new visa. Okay. When they are doing the change status, of course, we will see case by case. We'll look, look at it. So because I have a question from a reader, uh, Rajan. He said, uh, he said, just like, uh, they will be fine after 29 days once the visa cancelled? No. Till uh, now, no. Till no. now, no. Yeah. If you want to travel, he's fine. I, he's fine. Yes. But if you want, okay. Any kind of visas, I mean, residence visa. I mean, of course, entry permit is not yeah. because it's, yeah. there is no entry on it. But any kind of residence, okay, we have like three kind of residence. We have uh, investors, we have uh, family visas, and we have a normal uh, yes. Employment visa. Yes. If they are expired after first of March and they are outside the country, it's extended okay. till the end of the year. Exactly the same as the people who are inside the country. Okay. So most probably after uh, opening the airports, uh, there is a period will be there, okay. and people should leave before that. To be on a safe side, I advise people just to call the call center 800 5311 but to avoid calling during the peak time. I mean, our peak time starts from 10 a.m. till 2 or 3 p.m. Okay. So this is a very peak time. Okay. So the, the call center is on for 24-7. I mean, 24 hours they can call. Okay. So anytime they can call and just ask the agent that I need to check, I cancel. I need to check what is the validity. Okay. So systemically, they will get the proper answer. There are also a few questions about bans. People said that if they leave the country without paying their fines, which have been waived, will there be a ban on them? No. As, them? as announced, nothing will be there. The, I mean, it's a, it's a big thank to you people who are clear, I mean, uh, giving, I mean, the right answers or the right way to give uh, the information to your readers. Uh, we are sorry if maybe we didn't answer all questions, but I still mean, I can say, uh, Get the information from the official channels. media channels. Yes. yes. So, of course, Gulf News is one of the official yes. media channels. Yes. But get the information. Don't listen to people from outside. Don't listen to those um, messages that you are receiving through uh, your phone. Yes. Whatever uh, you like to clarify, it's through the official media channels and through our official uh, channels in GDRFA. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Major Sal. Thank you. Thank you.